Okay, so here I am, about 28,000 feet, partway up the first step, but up a way that no one has gone in a long, long time. I got drawn up here because of <coughs> this bottle right here. <coughs> when I looked at it from below, it looked like a uh, <coughs> 1924 Mallory and Irvine bottle, but as it turned out, it's a 1960 Chinese oxygen system. So anyways, I got drawn up into here pretty convinced this is the way that Mallory and Irvine would have tackled the first step coming up here rather than going down below like we do today, going up along here, up through, and up the first step this way. When I got up here, what I found was a dump of gear. Various dates, 1960, 1975, and I've seen a bunch more debris up here that I want to check out. It makes me wonder, maybe they camped here in 1960. If so, where did people see Irvine? Got an old shovel down here, headlamp, a lot of interesting old gear. And more spilling off down the hill this way. So I'm going to look around and see what I see. So here's more things that I'm finding. Old crap on part looks very similar to the 1960 Chinese. Some Chinese writing on it. Ancient, ancient carabiner. Some sort of battery type thing. I'm not sure what it is. Piton hammer. Very similar to the one I found at 27,000 feet in 99. What else do we have? Here's that shovel that I found. If you look close, it says Army. Let's see. 1979. Dunois. 1979. Army. So that's the French in 80 or 81, I believe. Here's the remains of a very old tent. Looky here. Big old oxygen bottle. But definitely Chinese, 1960. But much bigger than, one, than the ones we'd seen before. Probably got gas in it still. Yeah. Still gassed up. <laughs> and then we got a bottle of pills. What were they taking back in 1960? <laughs> and these cylinders, I'm not sure. These are probably the French from 1980. Looks to be fiberglass wrapped. <laughs> Definitely a newer bottle. <laughs> Not sure what on earth that is. Random crap everywhere. Uh, oxygen apparatus. Batteries. More oxygen parts. Another regulator type system. Got goggles. Someone obviously didn't care for. And definitely not the most hospitable terrain. Kind of perched right up here, but I guess the windbreak better than it would be anywhere else. All right, camera down, a little more exploration. So just for kicks, a little guided tour of the east face of Everest. Going down the northeast ridge, again, I'm just above that mysterious old camp. Go down, beautiful cornices here. Now we'll just take a peek over 
the abyss, <clears throat> down the Kang Chun phase. I won't get any closer, because that's a 10,000 foot ride down into nothingness below. Pretty spectacular. And you can see here how airy these cornices are. Just going right through to daylight on the other side. Watch where you walk. So again, one more view at this mystery camp at about 28,000 feet, one third of the way up the first step of Mount Everest. Very, very peculiar. Something I haven't heard of before. This must have been the way that Mallory and Irvine came up back in 1924, up here, taking the what seems to be the path of least resistance. I don't know. I'm definitely not an Abbey expert, but it just didn't inspire a ton of confidence. <clears throat> Are you hitting dirt there? Oh. Yeah. Nice, Dave. <coughs> What's that? Get nervous? Well, if you want a cord, let me know. Butt, Dave. You're kicking butt. That blue rope's good. 